So we are now 15 days before a presidential election, and we have to go through 347,000 emails to determine if one of the candidates in that election needs to be indicted. Russia, we think they're trying to sabotage Secretary Clinton's campaign. How? Never spend much time on Facebook. Useful idiot is a pretty self-explanatory term that the Kremlin has long used to describe expendable assets that it develops, deploys, but does not respect. It's also a pretty good term to sum up the current president of the United States of America, at least according to Showtime's excellent and deeply unsettling The Comey Rule, which airs on the Viacom CBS owned premium cabler on September 27th and 28th. Or, to put it another way, The Comey Rule is being broadcast just weeks before the 2020 election that Vladimir Putin is trying to influence the way Moscow did four years ago when it attacked American democracy with Donald Trump's ascension to the White House. I mean that because having been pushed until after this year's election and then moved up to September under protest and coming after years of convoluted and compromised probes like the Mueller report and the failed impeachment, the Comey rule may prove to be the most important drama in a year that clearly has had no shortage of drama on almost any level. Eight hours to go before the polls begin to close. Wisconsin, you see the lead? This is a sweep. Dr. Comey, the networks have all called it for Trump. While the Brendan Gleeson portrayed Trump is out of sight for much of the first part of the Billy Ray written and directed series, his shadow looms large and toxic as the former FBI director, played by Jeff Daniels, tries to thread an elusive needle of Hillary Clinton emails, an alarmingly controversy adverse Barack Obama, some Russian social media chess moves, and dossiers of golden showers. When finally revealed, well, his MAGA base and undecided voters will see, if they tune in, and they should, that the emperor truly has no clothes. And it is not a pretty sight to see. Would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Just the two of us? Nobody gets treated as unfairly as I do. It's disgraceful. Sir, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty. In a Shakespearean scale drama with postmodern players and huge stakes for our democracy, the former Celebrity Apprentice host is broadly portrayed with comb over perfection by Harry Potter alum Gleason as a stitched together Falstaff and Richard III, with all of the latter's self aggrandizing and wicked inclinations and none of his intelligence. As the showboating Comey, as the FBI director Trump axed in May 2017, is called by many a foe in the Comey role, Jeff Daniels successfully inhabits the essence and conflicts of the career lawman who ultimately unsuccessfully navigated the cracks between a rock, a hard place, and a nutcase. To that end, Daniels delivers another career-defining performance up on the level of his acclaimed newsroom and the looming tower rolls. Yes, in attempting to take what are essentially a lot of heated and awkward conversations in offices and conference rooms about probes, press leaks, and alerts towards lawlessness, the Comey rule, which is based in part on Comey's memoir, Higher Loyalty, does jump around a lot in time and political space. And policy wonks and partisans may find their favorite tidbit of the bureaucratic battle left out. I get it, but I say get over it. This is showtime, not C-SPAN. I will also say that as great as Gleason and Daniels are, the bench is deep here. So expect to see Holly Hunter, the Scoot McNary, and the constantly on point Michael Kelly in the 2021 Emmy race for their champion portraits in motion, James Comey's public letter to Congress of October 28, 2016, that the FBI was looking into more privately held emails of Secretary Clinton's may have cost the former first lady the election, even when he said on November 6, 2016, that the new investigation found nothing of note. It's a theory, a one of lot, a lot of Clinton fans still hold to. But perched on premium cable, I'm not sure the Comey rule will cost Donald Trump the 2020 election. But it vividly brings to light a man clearly unsuited for the office he currently occupies. And that is a sight to see.